Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today, we're gonna be adding four aquariums to the new fish room, and I'm actually filming this intro after everything is already done. So to start this video, I am gonna throw you guys back to a couple weeks ago when I went over to the old fish room to pick up my 40 gallon tanks. Alrighty guys, so we are over here in the old fish room, and it's actually been a little while since you guys have seen this place. As you can see, we cleared everything out of here except for that 55 gallon, all this random equipment right here, and the two 40 gallon tanks. And these two tanks are what I am here for today. I think I can move these things myself. It might be a little awkward, but I'm thinking if anything, I just pop it up on the head, walk it out the door. So we'll see what we do. I think I can handle these myself though. But when we come back for that 55, I'm definitely gonna need Miles to help me out. And pretty much all I'm gonna do right now is get all these substrate out. There's still a little bit of water left in this one. We'll get all that out, get all the decorations out as well. And then we'll get this all loaded up into the truck. So I'm just gonna set up a big fat time lapse and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Alrighty guys, well we got all the substrate and rocks and everything out of both of the tanks. I also went ahead and took them both off the stand. And now we're gonna start moving all this into the truck. I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna put one of the tanks on the bottom level and then the other one just next to it in the bed of the truck. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get all this loaded up and then unload it in the new fish room. Alrighty guys, well it has now been two days since we moved those two 40 gallon tanks over to the new house. And I did come back to get this 55 gallon tank. I'm convinced I can move this one by myself. I'm probably wrong and I'm probably going to break my spine, but I'm gonna give it the old college try, which uh, for me actually doesn't mean much. But first, of course, we do need to get all the substrate out. I brought a couple buckets here for that. All right, so all the substrate is out, and now I just wanna see if I can uh, like pick this thing up. So I'll get the heater out of here first. Okay, yeah, that's heavy for sure. I think I'm gonna have my dad help me. Alright guys, well it's now been a couple more days since we brought over this 55 gallon tank. And the next thing I want to do in this video is just walk you guys through this new fish room real quick. Because now, we got all the tanks in the fish room. I've also done some decorating off camera I want to show you guys. And then after that we'll do a couple other things in this video. So yeah, right when you walk down the stairs into the basement, we got the doorway to the fish room. I just hung these like LED vines yesterday and they look really cool. You walk through those into the fish room and immediately on the left is the 55 gallon. That's going to be the flower horn tank and that's why I did hang our flower horn art right above that. Then next to that, we've got our 40 gallon rack. You can also see I started messing with the lighting in both of those tanks. But this one down here is actually going to be an axolotl tank. My fiance Tori has been telling me she wants an axolotl for a very long time now. So here pretty soon we are gonna be setting that tank up for one. And then this upper 40 gallon tank, I actually don't know what I'm gonna do with yet. I have a couple different plans I could do. But let me know what you guys would wanna see in this 40 gallon tank. Then right above that, we got a little fishy decoration. And then next to that, you guys might've seen this in the background in a couple videos. Videos, but I have not actually showed you guys this up close. This is gonna be our 100 gallon turtle pond. I picked this big old thing up from Tractor Supply a few weeks ago, and we are gonna be setting that up for our larger size turtles. Like Junior, the red-eared slider right there, Midas, the albino red ear. And then I think we are also going to put our new pink belly side neck in that turtle tub. We'll talk more about him in a second though. But yeah, I'm definitely super excited about that turtle pond. I think I'm actually gonna make some kind of turtle art to go on that wall. It's a really big space, so I want something really cool there. Other than that, you guys have already seen the 75. Pluto's still doing good in here. Right up front, there he is. I did hang that Carson's Aquatic sign right there. You guys know all about the 125. There's our arowana right up there, our clown knife right down here. And then I think I mentioned this tank really quickly in one video. This is a little 10 gallon plant grow out tank. My 37 gallon community tank upstairs grows plants just crazy fast for some reason. At least once a month, I've been picking Java ferns out of that tank and I've just been throwing them in there. I'm also gonna be setting up this tank for the same reason. 
season. In this video, we're gonna be doing that here in a second. But then right over here to the turtle pond, you guys just saw a couple of them, but I mainly wanna show you guys the red tail catfish, cause it's been a while and he has been putting on some size, as you can see. It might be hard to tell on camera, but that guy is at least four inches now. Got him when he was maybe two inches. And very soon, we're gonna be moving him into the 125 and moving Mr. P, our Pictus catfish, into this 75. That will be going down in my next couple videos and I'm definitely excited to see the red tail in a glass aquarium again. But yeah, then above the turtle pond, I did hang a native fish poster. As you can see, I think it looks really cool right there. And then we did also hang this poster that my brother got me above the 125. It looks a lot homier with all these decorations on the wall. Yeah, and I haven't even shown you guys the sitting area yet. You can see all along that back wall, we just have a little chill zone. A lot of you guys probably recognize the Rockstar sign from the old fish room. I don't even drink Rockstar. We've also got the American flag. A couple souvenir license plates up there above the doorway and a security camera. And yeah, that pretty much concludes this episode's fish room tour. I'm definitely happy with how it's coming together. But the next thing I wanna do is actually feed all the turtles for you guys. Because you have not seen the big pink belly eat yet. And after about a week and a half of offering her food, she finally did start eating. So we're gonna dump in all our pellets right here. Now we're gonna grab all the turtles. Hey, big fella. Oh yeah, and I do want to talk about something real quick. I got this pink belly side neck in my last video, and in that video I did say I thought it was a female. And after releasing that video, I did a little more research, and I'm pretty much positive this is a male. So you guys can use this video's comments to leave your new male name suggestions for that guy. But as you can see right there, our new pink belly is munching. Again, it did take her about a week and a half to start eating. That's normal when you get a new turtle, and I doubt he was fed like this in a separate bucket. So it can also take them a little bit of time to get used to this technique, I guess. But yeah, that's good to see. He is definitely comfortable with us now. But now, while our turtles are busy eating, I am going to start setting up our second 10 gallon plant grow out tank. We've got a little container full of substrate right here. This is the same substrate that's in our other 10 gallon. So I'm hoping this is enough to cover the bottom. And then you can see we've already got our sponge filled in there and this tank also looks pretty crusty so I'm gonna take this out and wash it first a few moments later alrighty guys so the tank has been cleaned the substrate has also been cleaned I went ahead and cleaned that in the tank and there is enough substrate to fill the bottom of the tank but I'm definitely gonna take some out of the other 10 gallon and put it in here but now we are gonna go ahead and get this tank in place and now let's go ahead and fill this tank up And now that the tank is full, I'm going to get the filter running. I'm gonna get some of the substrate from that tank into that tank. And then we're also gonna get a few plants set up in there as well. All right guys, so I'm actually gonna finish setting up that plant tank later. I couldn't get the sponge filter to work. I'm trying to run two of them off of one air pump and I thought this was all I needed, but I'm pretty sure I need another valve. So I'll get all that handled later and you'll see that tank in a future video. But right now there is just one more thing I wanna show you guys. Carsonsaquatics.com. That's right, I now have an official website and right now on this website I am just selling my merch. This new website is just way more organized than my old one. It's just so much cleaner looking. You can see we got the featured products right here and then right down here we got all the collections and I'm actually really excited about this. I just dropped my Pluto collection and let me show you one of these shirts up close. I stayed up all night last night working on this design. It is my flower horn Pluto with Saturn rings around his head and then he is in a galaxy. I am super proud of this merch design. This is easily my favorite one that I've made and I hope you guys like it too. And you know what? This week only, anyone that buys my new Pluto merch will have a chance to have their order reimbursed. Over this next week, I'm going to choose a couple of you to pay back for your order. So if you guys like the new Pluto design, be sure to pick it up because hey, it might be free. But yeah, then other than the Pluto design, if you guys like the old Aussie design or in the circle glasses, you can get that too. It's all right here. It's all super easy to find. And if you read the description right there, you can actually see what's coming soon for this channel. So yeah, super excited about the new website, carsonsaquatics.com. Be sure to check it out. Other than that, I'm obviously super excited to finally have all of the tanks over here in the new fish room. Now we're going to start setting them up just like this. 55 is next and we'll get the 75 set up for our new cichlids. And yeah, it's finally all going down here in the fish room. So that is going to wrap up this video. Today's comment of the day goes out too. And if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.